Welcome back, everybody. Uh, obviously, the rainfall was nice. Hopefully, you didn't get caught. I mean, because we've been talking about it since last week. It finally came through. As you can see right about there, the uh, activity seems to be decreasing here around the city, but it is continuing uh, to come in. And this is the Gulf moisture streaming northbound with a strong southeast wind blowing to about 25 miles an hour. But really, the big stuff is out here in far west Texas. This is the trajectory of the remnants of what used to be uh, that tropical storm on the west coast uh, all things considered anybody in texas we all need rain and hopefully this is going to be good so far it has not been a flooding rain or severe uh, but there are some heavy spots here and there that might get some significant rainfall the thing is this is going to be about a two or three day event over the region remember uh, when we see green we go up to an inch uh, and if we turn blue, that means you got two inches. So everybody pretty much in the crossroads got a good solid inch of rain in the neighborhood. And that's all going to be very helpful for everything for the winter, uh, the, the, the fire season, everything like that. And you can see even in far west Texas, their averages have been fairly consistent. Uh, temperatures for us um, are looking at, of course, in the 80s. Uh, tomorrow, although with the cloud cover out there, it may be a little bit cooler. Tonight will only be in the 70s. It's, this is not a cold front by any stretch of the imagination. It's really coming from the Pacific. Uh, all this in uh, light green is a potential for showers. The heavier activity would be right here where they have a moderate chance for severe weather out in far west Texas. Not anything close to our area. And tomorrow, while we still get some general shower activity, uh, the heavy stuff is going to be out here because of heat and of course the bulk of the moisture that's coming up now here we are and there's the heavy stuff now that's going to move almost northeast the low drops down into that slot and then that starts to move ashore and until that moves away or basically northeast we're going to be under the gun for some additional shower activity looks like the peak will be on um, either Wednesday night or third no Tuesday night or Wednesday. Wednesday will be the peak of the activity. That's when we may actually see some severe weather pop up even along the I-35 corridor before that whole thing finally moves uh, through our region. Then there's a little bit of quiet before the next system comes through. Now here is the forecast track for the future all the way through Saturday. This is what Future Tracker thinks. It looks like there will we'll still be an additional one to two inches possible for our area and that's good stuff. You know, anything above four or five inches we have some problem with, but one to two we can deal with. Uh, ba basic note for fishermen, it's uh, getting a little rough out there because of the winds and, of course, the stormy weather. Uh, so do be cautious. We do have small craft advisories are up. Your sunrise is at 734 and your sunset now at 648. For those of you in Port Lavaca, we start off with cloud cover, a few afternoon showers, high of about 85. This is, again, coming from the southwest. Again, uh, uh, showers in Cuero uh, through the day and a high of 86. And somewhere or tomorrow or to the next couple of days, you're going to be affected by shower activity peaking here on Thursday, then decreasing as we get to the weekend, and then still looks colder weather by the time we get to Halloween. We'll have more on that, of course, later on. That is your seven-day forecast, reminding everybody we do have a QR code. Love for you to scan that and put Crossroads today on your phone. Here's Karina.